Today we're tackling the great debate that has been plaguing homeowners for years, which is the better humidifier, steam or bypass. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the difference between these two types of humidifiers, we'll break it down for you. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you something that most people don't know when it comes to whole house humidifiers. So first off, what is a steam humidifier? Steam humidifiers work by boiling water to create steam, which is then dispersed into the air via the ductwork that is connected to your furnace or air handler. So that when the humidifier kicks on, it turns on the blower and it circulates air and steam through the house. Now, this is a very effective way to increase humidity in a room, especially in very dry climates. However, steam humidifiers can be a little more expensive to operate as they require a constant source of electricity to produce the steam, but they are are way more efficient when it comes to water consumption and use much less water by comparison than a bypass humidifier. On the other hand, bypass humidifiers work by drying in dry air and passing it over a wet pad, similar to what you would see in an evaporative cooler or swamp cooler. The water in the pad evaporates into the air, increasing the humidity while the furnace is running. Bypass humidifiers are generally less expensive to operate than steam humidifiers as they don't consume hardly any electricity. However, they do consume a lot of water. Uh, they are some Somewhat easier to maintain as the pad can be replaced or cleaned relatively easily. A steam humidifier requires a canister, which is a little bit more expensive, but it's honestly not that big of a deal to change and it's pretty simple to swap out as well. Uh, if you know how to change your air filter, you can easily change a humidifier pad or a canister. So which type of humidifier is the best? Now, the answer really depends on your specific needs and circumstances. If you live in a very dry climate, a steam humidifier will be more effective at increasing the humidity in your home. However, However, for homeowners that are looking for the best bang for your buck, a bypass humidifier is definitely a more affordable option and will still add a little bit of humidity to the home. They are less expensive to operate, but the downside is that they don't produce as much moisture and they also waste a lot more water. And one of the differences between a steam humidifier and a bypass humidifier is that a bypass humidifier can only work when the furnace is running, whereas a steam humidifier can work year round if needed. Now, it's important to note that both types of humidifiers have their own set of pros and cons and the best one for you will depend on your specific needs and your budget and if you can afford it we always recommend a steam over a bypass if you have extremely low humidity levels although both will definitely take the sting out of the air if you are just looking to reduce static electricity and not looking to break the bank and right now i'm going to talk about four additional things to consider when choosing between a steam and a bypass humidifier number one is home size if you have a large space that needs to be humidified you may want to to consider a steam humidifier as they tend to be more powerful and able to cover a larger area. On the other hand, bypass humidifiers are generally better suited for smaller spaces. Number two is maintenance. Now, both types of humidifiers require some level of maintenance, but steam humidifiers may need more frequent canister replacement depending on the hardness of the water and the canisters are more expensive than a bypass humidifier pad. Uh, bypass humidifiers, on the other hand, they still need to have their filters replaced or cleaned on a regular basis. That being said, like I said, if you're handy enough to change the air filter in your furnace, you can change the pad on your humidifier or the canister in your steam humidifier very easily. And the cost of a canister replacement is about $100 a year, which in my eyes is a small price to pay. And if you live in a luxury home, for example, and have musical equipment like guitars or pianos, my advice for you is hands down, do not skimp on the humidifier because a cracked soundboard on your piano or guitars that are constantly out of tune is a much bigger problem than splurging a little bit for the steam humidifier. It's hands down a much better investment. The third consideration, which is somewhat minor and only shows up in certain settings if you are really close to the furnace, is uh, noise. If that's a concern, you may want to consider a bypass humidifier because steam humidifiers can produce a faint humming or gurgling sound as they operate, which may be noticeable in very quiet environments or if the master bedroom is right next to the mechanical room where your furnace or air handler is. Bypass humidifiers, on the other hand, tend to be quieter, but again, this is a very minor consideration in the steam humidifier and my home is in the crawl space right underneath our bed and I don't find it bothersome at all. The number four and final thing to consider is your budget. Now as mentioned earlier steam humidifiers can be more expensive to operate due to their need for a constant source of electricity and the cost to add a 240 volt circuit. Uh, bypass humidifiers on the other hand are generally less expensive to operate as they do not require any additional energy to produce humidity uh, but if water is very expensive in your area 
area and your bypass humidifier is running constantly, it will definitely consume more water. And again, just remember the best humidifier is really going to depend on your specific needs and circumstances. So we recommend considering all the factors and make a decision for yourself. And like I promised at the beginning of the video, there's one thing that many people may not know about humidifiers. But before I tell you that, please, if you haven't done so already, like this video for the algorithm and subscribe to the channel. It is a great way you can support us and it is totally free to you. And we strive to bring you daily and weekly tips to help you stay more comfortable in your home. And as promised, the thing that most people don't know and don't consider is that it is actually possible to over humidify a space. While it is generally beneficial to have a certain level of humidity in your home, having too much humidity can lead to problems such as mold, allergens, or even wood damage to the windows and window frames as water can condense on the windows if the humidity is set too high. So now what you're probably wondering is, okay, what should I set it at? And the simple answer is that it is commonly recommended to set your humidity level somewhere between 30 and 35% in Colorado, where the natural humidity level can be as low as 18%. And for comparison, in case you're wondering exactly how dry that is, relative humidity is 22% in the Sahara Desert. That's right, it's drier in Colorado than in the Sahara. And all humidifiers, they do come with a device called a humidistat, which is what turns a humidifier off and on. It functions for humidity the same way a thermostat functions for temperature. So when it's not humid enough inside, it will turn on the humidifier for you. And if you want to know more about ways to be more comfortable in your home, save money and make sure you're up to date on the latest HVAC trends and offerings, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and watch this next video.